Hi guys, welcome to today's mobility class. Today we're gonna to go so, through some really nice flowing sequences, some glute work and some core work. So all you need is your mat and let's get started. We're gonna start just as we did the previous week with the greatest stretch in the world. So we're gonna walk our hands down, slight bend in the knees if you need it. We're gonna walk your hands out, down along the mat into a long arm plank position. From here, the left foot comes up just outside the hand and we're rotating around, really reaching through the fingertips, making sure that that right leg, the knee stays raised. And nice deep breaths. Try not to let that right shoulder fall around. We're making sure that that right shoulder stays open. Opposite side. And rotating around. Good, hand comes back to center. Hips come high. We're gonna walk it all the way back in. Let's flow through one more at your own pace. So I hope you're seeing from the mobility work, the importance that all of the stretching has on your workouts and how effective, how much it can improve how you move during your workouts. I think sometimes it can be hard to dedicate time just for stretching. Sometimes it can feel a bit boring, although we know that we should do it. So hopefully today you'll see how you can incorporate some stretching, core work and glute work, and get a little bit of a sweat on too. So we're gonna take it down to our hands and knees. We're gonna come into cat cow. So starting with the head, we're bringing the gaze forward, arching through the lower back, shoulders away from the ears. Good, and tucking the head, rounding out the back, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bum. We're just easing ourselves into this today. Draw the gaze forward, shoulders away from the ears. Good, and opposite way. Let's come into some lateral flexion. So we did this the previous week. We're gonna bring elbow or shoulder down to meet the left hip, banana shape essentially, and opposite side. So we're gonna get the body nice and warm. We're gonna move through some fluid flows, incorporating some nice stretching, mobility work, and then we're gonna get it into some glute work today. So we're covering all areas. Okay, so from here, we're gonna raise up into a downward dog. Really focus on driving through your hands, get the hips high, you should feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Let's pedal the feet out. Good, okay, from here, we're coming into a plank position. We're gonna step through, bring our left foot between our left and right hand. We're gonna come into a low lunge. Scooping the hands up. Just taking two to three breaths here. Good, one more. Hands come back down. We're back into plank position and we're changing sides. Low lunge on the right side. And breathing. Again, two to three breaths here. When we finish this stretch, we're coming back into our long arm plank. This time, I want you to hold plank, okay? So even though we're stretching, we're still getting in some nice core work. Think about pulling the midline in. We're holding this for 10 seconds, nice and easy. Nothing too hard. We have three, two, one. Dropping back down onto the hands and knees. Hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. And we're going into that lovely kaka stretch again. Good, nice deep breaths. Okay, so we're building on this each time. We're going to do the exact same stretch. So starting with our downward dog and our low lunge. And then we're gonna add in another movement. So plank position, raise the hips, downward dog, let's pedal the feet. Starting with that left side, that left low lunge, scoop the hands up. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring both hands down to the mat and stand up nice and tall. 
So from here, standing tall, we're gonna come into a quad stretch. On the right side, we're seeing how close can we bring our foot, our right foot into the glute. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale. And we're gonna step or jump the feet back. Good, okay, opposite side. Right foot comes through. We're coming into our low lunge. Deep breaths. You should feel that hip flexor getting a little bit looser. Hands come down, standing nice and tall. We're going into our left quad stretch. Focusing on balance. Maybe you need to focus on a spot that's not moving in the room. Let's see, can we bring that left foot into the glute a little bit more on the exhale? Really nice, guys. Hands come down, jump or step the feet back. From here, we're holding the plank. Don't forget about that. This one, we're gonna hold our plank slightly longer. We're gonna push for 20 seconds. Draw the midline in, keep the core engaged. A little over five seconds to go. After this, we're gonna drop back down onto our hands and knees, active recovery with our cacao. Good, okay, let's flow through this. Shoulders away from the ears. Rounding the back as we tuck the chin. Tailbone is tucked, glutes are engaged. Okay, we're pressing up into our downward dog. Hips are high. Let's pedal the feet. Drive the hands into the mat. Plank position. We're starting with that left side. Low lunge. Scoop the hands up. Three breaths. We're moving straight into that quad stretch on the right side. So we're gonna stand, grab hold of that right foot, pull it in towards the glute. Just going as far as it feels comfortable for you. <sighs> Keeping our balance. We're lowering that foot and we're gonna step the feet back or jump. Okay, holding plank. A Little bit of core to break it up before we move to the right side. We're holding here, 10 seconds. We've got three, two, one. Stepping through, right side, we have that low lunge. Remember, we're gonna try and move straight into that quad stretch. One more breath, and get your balance. And pulling that left foot in. Really nice. Good work. From here, Coming back down, stepping the feet back. Okay, we're gonna go into, oh, our last plank, which I nearly forgot. We're gonna up the time on this. We got a 30 second plank. Let's go. Okay, staying strong here. Our gaze is down at the mat, so your neck should remain long. We should never be looking forward on this. We're focusing on pulling the core in. We have 10 seconds left. You're doing really well. Keep on pushing. We have one more sequence after this. And two, one, dropping down onto the knees for our cacao position. This is the time where you can catch your breath, relax and control your breathing. Okay, so we have our low lunge into our quad stretch and we're gonna work in one final movement. So when we're ready guys, we're gonna flow through the sequence a little bit quicker. So starting with the left side, we're gonna scoop up and we're gonna go straight into that quad stretch. Good, hands come down. Jump or 
walk the feet back and we're changing sides. So, scoop it up. Reaching towards the ceiling and straight into that quad stretch. Remember, we have one extra movement here. So from here, I'm gonna face the camera so you can see me. You're gonna bring your feet shoulder distance apart. We're gonna squat down. I want you just to play around with how it feels. The main thing that I really want you to focus on is that you're not letting your back round, you're remaining upright through the torso. Perhaps your feet are raised. If they are, that is absolutely fine. You might even pop a book or something in there. It's gonna help you get into more of an upright position. If you can get your feet flat on the ground, brilliant. So start to put a little bit of pressure, bringing the elbows against that left knee and, and the right knee. You should feel your hips opening here. From here, we're gonna go into 10 rotations. As I drive the right knee out, I'm rotating up with the left hand and the opposite side. We have eight more to do here. Keep focusing on your back and making sure that you're not letting it round. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, final one. Hands come down to the floor. Straighten the legs. Gaze goes between the legs. Pop back down, squat position, and pop the hips back up once more. Let's try that again. Okay, from here, jump the feet back, or step the feet back, and we're holding our final plank. Okay, this one is for 45 seconds, slightly longer than before. Let's see how we get on. This is our final movement of the sequence. You should be feeling a little bit looser. Definitely should be warmed up. 15 seconds down, 30 to go. Keep thinking about the shoulders being stacked over the hands. Making sure that your tailbone is tucked. You shouldn't be breaking at the back, okay, like me right now. Tuck the tailbone, engage the core. Nice guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Five seconds, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, final cat cow, just to finish this off. Okay, from here, when you're ready, we're gonna bring it down onto your back. So we're gonna go into some glute bridges. We're gonna come into some different uh, varieties. So starting off with both feet planted on the floor, we're gonna lie down. We're gonna come into glute bridge for 20 reps. So from here, we're thinking about raising the hips up as high as they can comfortably go. Making sure again, not to break at the lower back or overextend. Tailbone is tucked, core is engaged. Lowering all the way back down, driving the hips up. Okay, so let's start from now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We got five more. Then we're gonna go straight into some bicycle kicks for 30 reps. Last three, two, one. Bring our legs up to a 90 degree angle. Interlace the fingers, take the weight of your head in your hands. And from here, we're rotating bringing that right elbow around to touch the left knee and opposite side. Let's go guys, these are to be done fast. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. Two, four, 
six, eight, 30. Good work. Okay, so moving into our next glute bridge, we're gonna come into a single leg glute bridge. You're all familiar with this. We're raising the hips up nice and high. From here, one leg comes up into that 90 degree angle again. We really wanna make sure that each time we drive up, that we get back up to that same height as if both legs were still planted on the floor, okay? So, let's start off. Left leg is raised. I'm driving up through the right foot for 20 reps. One. Each time I'm driving up, I'm thinking about squeezing that right glute. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, keep on pushing, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep the hips high, changing sides. Let's go. On that left side, squeeze the left glute as the hips are high. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one. Really nice stuff, guys. We're gonna come into a Russian twist. This is a body weight Russian twist. If you wanna go a step further, grab a dumbbell. You can either keep your leg, your feet planted on the floor and simply get a nice rotation through the midline or we can raise the legs, make sure that the back isn't rounding. Again, we're gonna go for 30 reps. Let's go, two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 20, two, four, six, eight, final rep, 30. Okay, our final piece of glute work, we're gonna come into frog pumps, one of my favorites. So feet are, soles of the feet are pressed in together, butterfly, the knees out to the side, hands come back down by our side, and we're simply raising the hips up. Again, for 20 reps, okay? Really focus on that lower back now that you're keeping your core engaged and that you're not overextending. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more. Final rep, good work. Okay, final core movement. We have a core pulse. So we're starting in this hollow position. Shoulders are off the mat, legs are off the mat. We're pulling both in together and back out. Now we're being really kind. We've only got 10 reps here. Let's count together. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and final rep. Bring it back up. Bring the soles of the feet into touch again. And we're gonna come into a butterfly stretch. So nothing was too intense there. It was all about just getting some movement in, active recovery between strength days, aerobic days. Now we're slowing things back down. We're gonna come into some final stretches. <sighs> Control that breathing. Two more breaths. <sighs> From here, let's extend the left leg. We're gonna come into a seated twist. So the right foot comes over the left. I like to use my arm here to pull that right leg in closer towards my armpit. From here, I'm just doing a slight little twist around, 
towards the wall. You should feel this in your right glute. Keep the left toes flexed in towards you. Good, and easing out of that stretch. Let's do the opposite side. From here, we're gonna move into a hamstring stretch. So both legs are gonna be extended. If you like, you can use a band or a yoga strap to help you get further into this stretch. So for now, flexing the toes, and we're gonna to start to lower the body down just to where you comfortably can go. There's no pressure here to touch the toes or the soles of the feet. If you're up here, that's absolutely fine. We're all at different levels. So holding this here for a further 15 seconds, Okay, now I wanna just think about, I suppose, the ankles bringing in a bit of movement. Let's go into some circles. So I'm gonna circle my left foot around for five towards the left, anti-clockwise, and then back the opposite way. Good, and let's move over to the right, starting anti-clockwise. Good, you can see now we're really focusing on slowing the body down. After a big week of training, this is exactly what you need in between. Still getting movement in, but nothing too intense. Okay, from here, let's do both sides, left and right. Let's see how we're, how we're doing on this stretch. We're holding for 20 seconds per side. And then we're gonna get into some back extension work. So we have 10 more seconds before we change sides. Three, two, one, opposite side. Sole of the foot pressed in against my inner thigh and I'm hinging at the hip, folding down for 20 seconds here. Good, and relax. From here, we're gonna lie down onto our stomachs. We're gonna come into some back extension work, really important for strengthening the back and basically the whole posterior chain. So lying down onto your stomach, we are bringing your hands out directly in line with your shoulders. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna turn the thumbs up towards the ceiling, so externally rotating the thumbs. And from here, from about your sports bra up, I want you to think about lifting your chest. It's really important here to try and not squeeze your bum muscles too much. So you don't want to engage your glutes, okay? We all have that tendency where all of a sudden we start clenching, relax the bum muscles. We're gonna hold this for 45 seconds. Also I want you to think about keeping your neck nice and long. Think about holding a tennis ball between your chin and your chest. You wanna hold on to that tennis ball for about 20 seconds more. You should feel your erector muscles, your back muscles kicking in here. If of course anything feels uncomfortable or you feel for some reason the movement is actually causing discomfort, of course stop. Good, relax the bone muscles again. I have that tendency that I wanna start squeezing Good guys, and relax from here. We're pressing out of this movement and into a child's pose. Opening up the knees and sinking down.
We're just holding this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna move into another back extension. Okay, let's go again. We're flat onto our stomach. Hands are out into a T position, externally rotating the thumbs up towards the ceiling, and we're raising up. <sighs> really nice work. Think about that neck being long. Your gaze should be down at the mat. The tennis ball between your chin and your chest. If you feel yourself squeezing the glutes, stop and relax. Okay, can you raise up a little bit higher? Or have you reached your max? If this is the, the comfort zone for you, you can't go any further, that's okay. Good, and relax guys. Let's push out of this and into your child's pose. We're gonna do one more here. We're gonna do a couple of walkouts and we're gonna leave it there for today's session. Okay, our final back extension. Hands come into our T position. We're raising up. Keep on going. We still have a further 15 seconds to go. Good, three, two, one. And our final child's pose, which is always really nice. Nice way to unwind after the class. Two more deep breaths. And walking the hands all the way back in. Coming up to a seated position, essentially on your hunkers, knees are bent. I'll face the camera. We're gonna bring right hand down to the mat and we're gonna come into a side bend. Inhale, on the exhale, let's sink a little bit deeper. Can we reach a little bit further? Changing sides. One more deep breath. Reaching as far as you can on this. Good, let's do opposite side. Final stretch for the day. Okay guys, this is where I leave you. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Feel free to practice any of those stretches or hold them for a little bit longer. I'll see you next time.